Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, for being part of this community and for making this channel what it is. I'm James. Here we go. Researchers turn dead spiders into robots. If I could encapsulate my worst nightmare in one sentence. In a new field dubbed Necrobotics, let's remove the funding for that immediately is my vote. Generation Iron's content has markedly improved in quality. Deadly seriously the most thought provoking thing they've ever posted. That piece of equipment is called the crack pipe. The good old fashioned butt lift exercise. Thank you. Walk into the dumbbell section, see this, what do you do? Anyone for a game of Jenga? I'm gonna take that piece. Plus Jenga. Hey dude, uh, how many sets you got? I raise you a gym clown. What do you bench bro? One of the black ones and a brown one. Can't fault the form though, he hits all his markers there. Excuse me, how many sets you got left? I just think gyms need to kick these people out now. In this week's What Happens Next, do you think the guy who invented the trap bar ever imagined that this is how they'd be used? And I see so many posts like this. Another bloke in Gymshark using weights in a completely redundant way. Not what is meant by kettlebell squat. Cause feet on the floor is so last year. And if Gymshark are gonna keep reposting people doing stupid stuff in their merch, then people are gonna continue to do stupid stuff in their merch. Who remembers the guy from my last video using a million 15s instead of 45 pound plates? Cause you know, social media, he just went anabolic. I mean, the idiocy is astounding, but he made it onto the Gymshark page. His spine appreciated the sacrifice. Put your back into it, son, come on. And so why do gyms allow this stuff? S serious question. As part of gym contracts now, they're gonna have to write clause seven. Don't deadlift your mates while they're bench pressing, please. It used to be so simple. You'd walk into a leisure center and the only rule was don't defecate in the pool and you were good. No one got hurt, except Art. Has anyone seen the 20s and a couple of dumbbells? He did pick up his litter. Good lad. Time for why you can't have nice things. I don't, but look how big, uh, once you get to this size, you don't go around asking people how many sets you got left, bro. I asked you I nicely, know, look at bro. It. See that? He's hey. a little punk kid, hey. a little sport. Just hey. walk away. <laughs> Once you get to this size, don't go around asking people how many sets you got left, bro. Thank you. Finally, someone said it. The man speaks the truth. Once you get to this size, you don't go around asking people how many sets you got left, bro. Derek, there seems to be a stain in your comment section. I recommend a tough rag and a bit of bleach and it'll come right out. And may I say, once you get to this size, don't go around asking people how many sets you got left. Bro, it's the best t-shirt that's never been made. In this week's Jeff Side Educates. I got fat, and the reason why I got fat. Sorry, Jeff Side, for any of you who don't know who he is, basically another generic fitness influencer who lies to his audience about how he achieves his physique and then sells them stuff they don't need. That well-trodden path, famous for going aesthetic in public. Sorry, stripping off in front of families during their midday stroll. Hashtag motivational. He did not pass his driving test. Okay, Jeff, thank you. Please pull up here and show me your parallel parking. Not quite what I had in mind. What would you do if you saw us? Get a couple of cans of bug spray out? Sorry, order 19 PED tests. Right idea, cringe presentation. Cringe idea, completely predictable, expected presentation. But we haven't seen Jeff for a while because he's been away from social media doing an investigation. What happened was he basically stuffed his face with McDonald's in order to add mass, known as dirty bulking, or what I call being a greedy bastard. I actually gained 40 pounds from the beginning of my bulk to the end of my bulk. And Jeff came to the conclusion that, sorry, before we go on, you're gonna need a pen and notepad for this. It's quite deep. He stuffed his face with fast food and everything he can get his hands on. And Jeff came to the profound conclusion. The reason why I had to stop the bulk and the number one reason why I think dirty bulking is not good is it's very unhealthy. But it's not a good idea. What happened to me personally is my blood pressure went through the roof and I decided it's time to stop the ball. People are giving him a standing ovation. What a legend he is. Great post. The king is back. In which case, can we return to sender? Love your honesty. This bloke literally invented the term fake natty. Is this how low the bar is now? Because to recap, Jeff Side, who's been a fitness celebrity for over a decade, decided to perform a biohacking experiment on himself, which he came to the conclusion to not binge on Happy Meals. My advice to you is do not dirty ball. <laughs> but the toys are worth it. And then he posted this follow-up video of his dirty bulk versus when he was shredding for the Olympia as a young man in his early 20s whilst taking multiple PEDs and no brain cells were harmed in the process. Aesthetics over everything, including suppressing your natural testosterone in your early 20s, AJF. Eh, Would I recommend dirty bulking to you? No. 
I wouldn't. Of course, if purposefully in a calorie surplus in order to add size, then of course you need to consider eating nutritious food and also the amount of surplus you're in, not just eating all the pies basically. And just for balance, there's a guy called Dave Hartree and he's created a TikTok profile because he suffered terrible side effects by using roids. He had extreme acne, which turned into open wounds to the point where it's excruciating just to sit down or anything touching his body. Bro lost all his gains. Me being fitter, happier, healthier, and enjoying training more. And of course, these side effects wouldn't necessarily happen to everyone, but it's worth considering when you see people like Jeff Syed walking down the street, projecting this idyllic lifestyle, that there can be severe side effects from roid use. Here's a segue. Sorry, here's a segue. Game! Number one is comparing yourself and your gains and your body to dudes that are enhanced or taking performance enhancing drugs. Rule number one, never trust a man who has the resources to build his own home gym and chooses a Smith machine. That should be made law. Sleep. As in you're not sleeping enough. But he does also give some decent fitness advice. Sleep is one of the most undervalued aspects to bodybuilding and fitness. But when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you should do is dry scoop some underdosed baby powder from the Nelk boys. Leave it on your bedside counter. Okay. And right when you wake up, just take a scoop. Okay. And then you'll be like, did he even bother Googling Elon Musk's name before he interviewed him? Leave it on your bedside counter. Okay. Musk politely saying okay to the guy while thinking about rocket science. And then you'll be like, you absolute donut. And so let's have a quick look at the new full send pre-workout formula, shall we? I'm just going to draw it. And when I write underdosed, it is so massively, ridiculously underdosed that it is embarrassing. At this point, they should just rename it full cash grab. And it's just another example of influencers entering the pre-workout market because it's a cash cow. They have no understanding or background in fitness supplements or any understanding of the ingredients or any ethics or morals, apparently. What to avoid? Buying this? They've done three different flavors of BCAA. That is hilarious. Liver reset capsules. Couldn't agree more. Look, I've asked you guys to stop. Y'all are violating my policy. Um, I'm going to have to call the police. This is the only if you don't place comply, I feel at okay? home. This is the only place I feel at home. Okay, well, that's great. If you could just understand where I came from, what I've been through, Sorry. you know. I mean, I'm just I spreading a message. Them. So many people are hurting and hating. I asked you to stop videoing. We're just trying to help people. Hey, guys, why do y'all like Liver King? You're amazing. You're amazing. Right. I'm you gonna this? go ahead. If like the security has asked him, you know, politely, please, can you stop doing that? And he's refused. And so he's decided to enroll the help of his fans. Hey guys, why do y'all like Liver King? You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. Right. And he turns his camera to his fans and they're on their school lunch break. <laughs> that is so perfect. Thank you, social media gods. I think that about sums it up, really. I've forcément vu passer ce hula whoop sur TikTok. La seule différence entre cette version et celle que t'avais dans ton enfance, c'est que celle-ci comporte une balle que tu dois faire tourner autour de toi. Le but, faire du sport. And so whenever I see anything like this, a new fitness gadget, and I should have listened more in French class to understand what they're saying, but I just think that these people would be better off performing traditional exercises rather than spending a significant amount of time doing this. I get the idea, slim your waste and all that but in reality there's not a lot of dynamic movement there and it looks like a hula hoop with a weighted ball attached to it which I'm sure costs more than it should do and I see people wanting to improve their fitness and I just think it's redundant and especially when it's projected this way as some type of effective exercise protocol and waist slimming and sig with significant fat loss I agree make exercise fun play sport do hula hoop if you enjoy it but not as a replacement for your traditional workouts performing squats deadlifts pulling pushing movements are going to be far more bang for your buck play us out Larry 